to the world of building design. This is Revit MEP Sprinkler System Design Tutorial number 6. Uh, in this tutorial we would like to review on how we have to uh, configure the pipe routing and select the relevant feeding and uh, all the accessory for the pipe system uh, that we will use for the uh, a sprinkler system design. So after we set up our view template, uh, we have to do some mechanical setting and then we can also customize how the pipe routing and the fitting type uh, needs to be customized for a specific type of design. So for making this kind of customization, uh, first thing we have to do is we have to load a number of uh, appropriate fitting for the pipe system design. So uh, in this case, we would like to use a, a Schedule 40 uh, pipes, uh, pipe material. So if you go on the system and then on the system, actually on the um, insert tab, on the insert tab, there is a um, command called load family we have to bring uh, some of the relevant feeding for for our piping modeling that will take place in the other tutorial so I go to load family and then I'm gonna look for pipe under the in the library uh, where we have all of our uh, families uh, existing so under pipe I'm going to go to the feeding folder and under the fitting folder I have a command called uh, um, actually I'm gonna use the malleable iron so and the class 150 is what I'm gonna use so I'm going to go to class 50 and then I'm going to this threaded folder I would like to bring all of this um, uh, feeding types into my family or into my uh, modeling uh, environment so I'm going to get the first one and go down and hold the shift and basically uh, highlight all of this feeding types and then press open because I want to uh, basically bring it into my um, you know Revit modeling so that I can get it from from the system tab. So I'll wait for this new fitting to be loaded. And once the fitting is uh, are loaded into our system, which is right now is loaded, uh, I would like to um, do some um, customization on the pipe routing. So now I want to go to the system tab. And from the system tab, I would like to use the pipe command from here. When I select the pipe command, the property uh, box on the left hand side uh, for the pipe system shows up where it shows the reference level, elevation, middle elevation, button elevation and other characteristic of the pipe. As you can see, it's a hydronic supply, uh, type of the pipe, copper, but we're going to get to there. Uh, by doing some customization. So once I'm here, I want to go into the edit type. I'm going to select the edit type. And then, as you can see, we have a pipe type in here, which I want to rename. I'm going to rename and then I'm going to just type here threaded pipe. Because I want to um, define a new type of pipe system with all its associated feeding type. So once I type here threaded pipe, I go OK. And then I, before I go any further, I would like to keep this threaded pipe and then customize the routing preference. So the routing preference is a specific segment of the feeding and feeding to be used to form a system. So I'm going to go to edit. And then for for this kind of uh, modeling or specifically a sprinkler system, I'm going to change this threaded pipe uh, you know, type. I'm changing it from copper and I'm going to go down to find schedule 40, uh, which is this option, steel carbon schedule 40, 
which I'm selecting. In terms of the sizing of the pipe, I'm going to keep that 15 millimeter as the minimum and the maximum. Uh, I don't need this much. I'm going to go with, uh, say, 80 millimeter. And then for the elbow, I'm going to select a different elbow. I'm going to select MI class 150. Okay, so that's what I'm going to select, which is threaded. Then for the T, I'm going to, in terms of the sizing, I'm going to select 15 all the way to 80 millimeter. Then for the T type, I'm going to select the T, same thing. And for the junction, I'm going to go back down and then select the T threaded MI class 150. Um, actually, that's what I'm going to use, threaded type. And then for cross, again, I'm going to customize this based on um, the threaded type. So it's a cross M threaded MI class 150 standard. For the transition, I'm going to select M coupling concentric reducing threaded MI class 150. That's, that's another selection for, for that. Then I'm coming down for the union type. I'm going to again select M coupling threaded for the flange, we don't need that because we don't have um, we don't have flanges in this kind of application. So for the cap, again, I'm going to use threaded MI class 150 as standard. So that's that's pretty much everything that we need to customize uh, in terms of the pipe routing in here. Pressing OK, and then I'm going to apply, and then OK. So basically we have prepared our pipe setting in terms of the routing, type of material, type of junction and connection, crosses and everything that, uh, that is created once you start um, modeling the pipe. So now I would like to go to, to this area actually outside <clears throat> using the middle elevation of uh, 2750 millimeter. I'm going to start to draw some pipe in here um, so I'm going to first of all use the medium level and okay let me just start doing some pipe here going up going here now I want to <clears throat> go down say to 1000 <clears throat> and then I come down and then go to the right hand side and I'm coming up to 2790 going up and going to the left okay. what I want to do is I'm going to select this part of the pipe just and then hold the tab a few times so basically everything is selected and then once I've done that I want to make it uh, make it fine and I'm going to have a 3d model view of what is drafted here or designed So as you can see, okay, actually we need to use this to reduce the size and then go back to fine and look at our pipe now. So as you can see, the type of material and fitting type that are selected is appropriate for the type of piping you would like to draw. And actually I want to create this piece of pipe and then cap open end and the cap type that is used here is basically the type of material that you can see in here that we have uh, used as a routing in our routing preference which is a threaded cap 
MI class 150. So basically we define all the fitting to match the type of pipe we have so that we have a consistent type of piping system uh, across the board uh, when we design a piping system which needs to be the same material, same um, you know, connection and uh, same method of uh, um, you know, uh, fabrication. Um, so that's pretty much it on how to customize your uh, pipe preferences and pipe routing and um, and uh, we'll discuss other customization of the pipe system uh, in the next tutorial. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please uh, do not forget to subscribe and press on the notification button to see the new tutorial as soon as they are posted.